In this video, I am going to show you how to make an appointment booking website step by step using WordPress. I will specifically show you how to make an appointment booking website for doctors. Don't worry if you are not a doctor because with this tutorial, you will be able to create any kind of booking website for any kind of professional like accountants, counselors, barbering shops, you name it. So, before we start making this website, let me take you through what you will get at the end of this tutorial. So if visitors land on your website and they decide to book an appointment, they can click on book an appointment here, 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 or even here. So I click on book an appointment and it will take me to the appointment booking page. So in here, they decide to choose whatever service they want to get from us. So as a customer, I will choose a cosmetic dentistry and teeth whitening. Then I'll get my subtotal. I go ahead and click on next. In here, they decide to choose an assistant that will take care of them when they get to our facility. So they can either choose Kara, that is the beautiful lady, or John. I'll go in for Kara because she is beautiful. Then I click on next. In here, I select a day by clicking on it. I choose Wednesday to check the availability. So Wednesday is available and I'll choose my preferred time. I'll go in for 1.30 p.m. So if this day and time are not available, the system will notify me. So everything is set. I click on next step. Then in here, I enter my first name, my last name, my email address. My phone number and finally my address. Then I go ahead and click on next step. And I'll be presented with all the details I've chosen. That is my name here, date and time booked, the assistant I've chosen, and the services I've selected. The total amount I'll be paying. If I have a discount code, I'll enter it in here and click on apply to reduce the total amount, which I don't have. Then finally, I can leave a message. Then I go ahead and click on next step. And boom. Booking confirmation. Your booking is completed and I've been assigned with a booking number. Perfect. If I have any queries, I can call this number, which I don't, and I click on complete. And the booking will be completed and I'll be redirected to the thank you page. So thank you for booking. So as a customer, I'll receive a message in my inbox with the booking details and the administrator of this website will also receive a message with regards to this booking. So that's how the booking system works, as simple as that. In this video, I will show you how to design all the pages of this website using a drag and drop page builder that you will need any programming or coding knowledge. I will show you how to design the home page the about page the services page and the contact page i will then show you how to make your own custom logo for free and to make this website we are going to use only free resources the only thing we need to pay for is a domain name and a web hosting which is a standard for every website. So, if you want to make this beautiful appointment booking website, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sonic here at Tiku Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So, if you are new here, consider subscribing. 
that's it let's jump into the video so like i said in the introduction to make this website we are going to use only free resources and the only thing we need to pay for is a domain name and a web hosting which is a standard for every website and don't worry about getting a domain name and a web hosting because i'm going to take you to a web hosting platform where you get the cheapest price ever so to get your own custom domain name and a web hosting click on the very first link in the description down below or go to your browser and enter decoupages.com slash asura hit enter this brings us to asurahosting.com asura hosting offers multiple affordable hosting services to suit you perfectly they have website hosting reseller hosting vps hosting and radio hosting so for our purpose we are going to web hosting asura unlimited web hosting is a shared hosting that comes with unlimited bandwidth mvm express ssd disk storage email accounts and many more where you can choose between cpanel or direct admin when you are signing up with up to 30 percent recurring discounts when billed annually for longer periods now let's take a look at the various shared hosting plans now with asura hosting you can choose from starter unlimited and unlimited plus where you can switch between direct admin or cpanel so you can either decide to use direct admin where you pay one dollar per month for starter or cpanel where you pay 1.29 dollars per month so depending upon whichever control panel you want to use either direct admin or cpanel so for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to use direct admin where i will pay less so these are the various features you will get under the starter you will get 12 gb nvme express ssd storage unlimited bandwidth unlimited free ssl certificates 15 email accounts 15 websites 15 databases and many more however with the starter you don't get to have private name servers free gold 10 key reseller plan you don't also get free domain yearly or free dedicated ip now for the unlimited package everything you get is unlimited except that you will not get free gold 10 key reseller plan free yearly domain and also you won't get free dedicated ip and lastly with unlimited plans you get all the features which are unlimited and you also get free domain yearly as well as free dedicated ip so i will recommend you to go in for the unlimited plus if you want to get extra features that the starter and the unlimited does not come with now going down it is very important to take notice that when you are using the starter for instance you will pay in 12 dollars for a year and at a renewal you also pay 12 dollars for a year you don't need to pay extra for subsequent years as other web hosting platforms do so going up i'm going to use the starter package for this tutorial so i click on order now so in here i can register a new domain or transfer my domain from another registrar or i use my existing domain and update my name service so in here i'm going to register a new domain so i search for the domain i want to use take note the domain name you are going to use should be unique to you if a particular domain is already registered you cannot also register it for the second time so let me search for a domain that i want to use Deco pages and then the domain extension you can drop down the arrow here and choose the particular domain extension you want to use now if you are creating for a business and you want to go international i would recommend you use .com you can go ahead and use .net .org .bs you can go ahead and use .org if you are creating for an organization that is for instance an ngo i would always recommend you use .com if you want to go international so i choose .com then i click on check so if this domain is not registered it will be available for me to use but if it is registered i cannot register it for the second time so you see tikupages.com is unavailable what this means is that the domain name tikupages 
has already been registered. Perhaps if I want the same domain name, I can go with a different domain extension that is either .org or .net and whatever. But I want .com, so I will search again. So instead of Deco Pages, I will say Deco Pages Web. Then I click on Check. Awesome! Congratulations, Deco Pages Web .com is available for ninety nine point nine nine dollars. So I click on Continue. So these are the various features I'll get for the startup plan for the web hosting, which is twelve dollars per year. So going down, you can choose your billing cycle either annually, two years, or three years. However, if you choose more than a year, that is two years, you save 16% and you also save 16% when you go in for three years. You can also choose additional services like dedicated IP, either monthly or yearly, ballista license, WHMCS, starter lances. We don't need all this. So what I do is I click on continue and in here, I have the opportunity to use free DNS management. So I check this IP address. I need to pay for it. I don't want to pay extra. And then email forwarding is free. So I check it. Then I click on continue. I like free things. And now the web hosting for startup plan is $12 per year. And then the domain registration is $99.99 per year. And everything amounts to $21. Point nine nine dollars per year. Now going down, you can choose your currency depending upon where you are coming from. I will leave it. I will leave it as dollars. If you have a promo code, you enter it in here. And finally, billing details. So if you are an existing customer, you click on existing customer login and then continue. But here is the case. I'm going to create a new account. So in here, I fill all these details: my first name, last name, email address, phone number, which is optional. Then my billing address, company name, which is optional, street address, city, state, and then country. Then in here, I enter my password and confirm my password. Now, payment method, you can go by PayPal. You can also pay by direct credit or debit card. You can also pay with Bitcoin. So I want to pay with my debit card. So I select that. Now, in here, I enter my card number, the expiry date, and then the CVV number afterwards i click on checkout so now i'll fill all these details and go ahead and click on checkout and get back to you okay my order is placed i click on continue to client area and now i am in my asura hosting dashboard and right there is the domain i've registered dicopagesweb.com now let's go ahead and check our email for the login details to asura web hosting all right, I'm in my Gmail account and Asura will send us so many messages. So for the first time, you need to confirm your domain name by going here. Because I'm already on Asura, I won't get that confirmation link. By you coming to Asura for the first time, you need to click on the link just to confirm your account. So I go back. The next thing I'll do is look for Asura hosting. That is hosting account information. So I click in here. Then this particular email will have the login details to my Asura hosting platform. Right here, I have my control panel login details, which I need to hide for obvious reasons. So to be able to log into your control panel, you need to open the server URL. So I'll just highlight it and I can right click, copy, open a new tab, paste it in, enter. Then I'll go back and grab my username and password so i'm just picking the password because the username is simple to remember and i click on sign in and now we are in asura hosting c panel and these are the various features you get when you host with asura hosting or any other hosting platform so that's it guys on how to get a domain name and a web hosting with asura now the next thing i'm going to do is to install wordpress to install WordPress, I scroll down to Extra Features, then I click on Software Clause Auto Installer. In here, I go ahead and click on Install, that is WordPress. Under Choose Installation URL, in here, you need to make sure that HTTPS is selected since Azure Hosting is giving us a free SSL certificate. 
and choose a domain this is the domain we've just registered in directory you don't want to put anything in there scrolling down under site settings site name you enter the name of your website as well as the site description i'll show you how to change this in wordpress under admin account in here you enter your admin username the corresponding password and the email address you want to use these are the details you use to log into your WordPress website in order to edit it. So admin username, password, I want to hide it. Admin email, I want to use the email address I used to register on Asura. Perfect. And I scroll down. I click on install and WordPress will install in some few seconds and doing this in real time and boom we are right there so in here I click on the URL of my website and it will open in a new tab and take me to the home page of my website awesome going back I can also click on the administrative URL that is the link here to take me to the back end of my WordPress website. But I don't want to do that. I rather want to show you how you can log into your WordPress website. So to log into your WordPress website, you click at the end of your URL, then bring forward slash WP dash admin, hit enter. And this will take you to the login page. Okay, WordPress, we want to verify if I'm not a robot. I am not. I'm going to select traffic lines. And I click on verify. So in here, I enter my username. And then the password. Hit enter. And now I'm in the back end of my WordPress website. To so take note, this is the back end of our website. And to go to the front end, I'll right click on the name of my website, open link in a new tab. And this is the front end. This is what it says you see when they enter decoupagesweb.com into their web browsers. Awesome. Going back to so other back end, this is where you can edit and also customize your WordPress website. And most of the works we'll be doing in WordPress has to do with the menu we are seeing at the left side of the dashboard. So first of all, I want to do some cleaning up of my website. I don't need all this. So I click on screen options and I uncheck all these to take them off my dashboard. It looks clean now. Next, I go over to post Default is when you install WordPress, a post will be created for you that is Hello World. We don't need it. I click on Trash. I click on Trash. Then I empty the trash. Next, I go over to Pages. We don't need all these pages. So I select all, work actions, move to Trash, apply. I click on Trash. And I empty the trash. Next, I go over to appearance. Defaultly, when you install WordPress, you will present it with these three teams or some teams, and one of them is active that is the 2021 team. So, this is where you can add new teams and also activate the team you want. So, if I want this particular team, all what I need to do is click on activate. Now, if I go to the front end of my website and refresh. This will now be the new look and feel of my website. I go back. I don't need all these teams. So I click on team details. Delete. Okay. Team details. Delete. Okay. Unfortunately, we cannot delete this team simply because we should have an existing team on our website. But we shall look at how to take this off upon installing the team we want to use to make this website next i go over to plugins 
a plugin is just a software that will add extra functionality to your WordPress website. I don't need these two plugins, they are not even activated. I click on all bot actions, delete, apply. Okay. Next, I go over to settings and I click on general. And the general settings, we can change the name of our website as well as the tagline. Remember when we were installing WordPress, I mentioned that I will show you how to change the name of your website as well as the tagline. So this is where we can do that. So the site title, I enter Dico Dental and then the tagline, we make dental treatments fun. Now under WordPress address, you need to make sure that you have the HTTPS in here in order to make your website secure. If you don't have that, all what you need to do is just add the S to the HTTP and do the same thing in this place as well. Since Asura Hosting is giving us a free SSL certificate. Next is the administrative email address. You can change this if you want. And the membership, you may want to enable this so that users will be able to register on your website since you will be making an appointment booking website. Going down, I click on save changes. Next, I click on permalinks. Under permalinks, you may want to change your common settings to post name instead of day and name so that your post will assume this post example instead of having the date as part of your post URL. I scroll down, then I click on save changes. Okay, now all the cleaning up and setting is done. The next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and install a theme. Take note, a theme is basically the design and layout of our website. So to install a theme, I go over to appearance, click on themes. So this is the current theme we are using and we don't want this. So we need to add a new theme to replace this one. So I click on add new. And the set theme, I search for Astra. And I have Astra right here. I click on install. It is installed. I click on activate. Now Astra is installed and activated. Let's go and take a look at the new look and feel of our website. So I click on refresh. So this is the new look and feel of our website. It's still boring, but don't worry. I'll show you how we can make it beautiful in a moment. So I can exit out of here for now and here and here as well. Now Astra is thanking us for installing it. And it is also asking us, uh, did you know Astra comes with dozens of ready to use starter templates install the starter templates plugin to get started so in order to take advantage of the starter templates i'll go ahead and click on get started so in here the starter templates we want you to choose a page builder that you want to use to work with your website so you can choose to work with gutenberg elementor viva builder or breezy but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to go for elementor And these are the various starter templates Astra will present you with. So we are getting this as a result of installing the starter template plugin. Awesome. But take note, some of them are premium. You cannot use them for free. So in order to get our free plugins, I go over to all and I choose free. I can also narrow down my search by searching for the particular template I want to use. For this tutorial, I'm going to search for health and these are the various templates for health. So the first one, that is online health coach, it comes with four templates, which means by installing this, you get four pages. This comes with five. This is one. So if you want to make a single page website, you can go ahead and use this and this as well. So which one should I choose? Maybe I'll go in for this. It has four pages and it will fit my purpose. So I click on it. I can go ahead and click to see the rest of the pages. 
this will serve my purpose very well so in here i can choose to import any of these pages for instance if i want to import only the home page i can select it then i click on import home page if i want to import only about i can do that but for my purpose i want to import the complete site so i go ahead and click on it so a little survey for us i am a wordpress beginner so i'm assuming you are a beginner and i am building this website for myself i click on next in here you may want to enter your name and your email so that you will receive some newsletter i don't want to do that i click on skip and the importation is started this will take a moment so just relax grab a cup of coffee and give it some time and this is exactly what i'll do so i'll pause the video and get back to you when the importation is done all right imported successfully hooray the website imported successfully so i can go ahead and click on view site and it will open in a new tab now i have my website very clean and crisp awesome so we are getting all this design for free so currently this is the home page the about page beautiful services awesome and finally contact perfect okay let's head back to the home page so for this template everything is good for you all what you need to do is change the colors because you may want to use your own colors also switch these images these are the various services we can go to services to see more in here the template gives us about six services you can increase them if you have more services or you can take some off if you have less services awesome you can also switch the logo i'll show you how to make your own custom logo in this tutorial also this template is for a dental website you can build on it and use dental as a case study you can also go ahead and choose whichever area you want to go into for instance you can make a salon website you can make appointment booking for accountants and what have you for me i want to make an appointment booking for doctors and specifically a dentist However, I'll show you how you can customize this website in order to make it your own by changing the images and also changing the colors as well as the text. So to edit this page, all what you need to do is click on edit with Elementor. Elementor is a page builder that we are going to use to customize our website. So it is open with Elementor and in here you will not see the menu and the logo simply because they are not part of this very page now before we start designing our website let me show you some of the features you find on the page so when you are in elementor at the left hand side you see these features we have right here and all what we are seeing on this page right now are all coming from these features right here you can call them widgets or elements so i'll show you how to use some of them if you want to learn how to make a website using Elementor from scratch, you can go to my channel and check that up. For instance, the first text right here, you can get it by using the heading element. And the next text following in here is the text element. And down here below is a button and you have the button element right here. So for instance, if I want to add another heading like this one, I'll go and grab the heading element then I drag it and drop it where I want. So take note, wherever the blue bar you are seeing right here is, if I drop, that is where I will see it. So assuming I want it here, in between the text and the button, then I drop. Immediately you insert any element, you see these three tabs right here that you can use to customize that particular element. So we have content, style, and advanced. And the content, that is where you can change your text so i can say your oral health matters to us and maybe i want to change the color so i go over to style then the text color 
I click on color right here and I can make it white. Perfect. I can also reduce the size if I want by holding this and dragging it to wherever I want. I can make it 20. Maybe I don't want it at this position. I can click on the person icon right here, hold it down and drag it to where I want. Like on top here. Awesome. The existing text, if I want to change it, I'll just go ahead and click on it and I change it from here. So I'll say get a brighter smile from Tamalis Best Dentist. Something like that. Or maybe dentist if there are plenty. I can also go ahead and change the font color as well as the font itself so I want to change the typography so I click on the pencil icon right here I drop down the arrow under family then I search for poppins I click on it and I can increase the size to maybe 50 awesome or better so I can take it to 60 maybe 55 I think 55 is cool now if I want to insert an image maybe in this section I'll go ahead and click on this nine dots right here then I have image in here I'll just drag it and drop it where I want then I click on it from here and I can choose any of these images I want then click on insert media it will appear right here awesome but I don't need this image, so I'll just go ahead and right click on the pencil icon here and click on delete. So the next thing I'm going to do is change some of these colors as well as the images we have in here. Since I've shown you how to change your text, so you can go ahead and edit all this text. First of all, I want to change this background color we are seeing here, this blue color. So to do that, I click on this six dots here. That is edit section. I click on it. You see that we have edit section. You can change the layout, the style, and then the advanced settings. So to change the background, I go over to style. And the background, I choose the background type. Currently it is set to classic. And this is the color it is currently using. So I can click on it. And I can choose any color from here. And also make it light or deeper awesome so assuming this is the color I want and I know that I'm going to use this color maybe throughout my work all what I need to do is to save this color and to save it I click on this plus icon right here and I enter a name for it so I'll say maybe purple something like that then I click on create so I don't need to waste my time searching for this color the next time I want to use it. Awesome. The next thing I'm going to do is customize this button. So I just go ahead and click on it. So in here you can change the text on the button. So currently it is set to book an appointment and maybe I need the same text and the link you enter the URL of the page where you want this button to redirect your users to. So look at how we change this later on in this tutorial when we finally create our appointment form. So next I go over to style. I want to change the text color to match the background color here. So instead of clicking on color here, I will now click on this custom, something like a globe. Then I scroll down, I have my color in here. So my text will now change to the purple color. Next I want to change this image. So I just hover on it and I click on this pencil icon right here. I have the image in here. I click on it. I go to upload files, select files. Now I go to the location where I can get my images. So I'll choose this one. Then I click on open. It is uploaded. Then I click on insert media. Going down, I can also go ahead and change this image if I want. So I click on the pencil icon right here, click on it from here, upload files, select files, then I choose this image, click on open. It is uploaded. I go ahead and click on insert. Awesome. 
in here i also want to change the color of this text so wherever i see blue i'll put my purple color there so i click on it then i go over to style text color i just click on the global scroll down then i choose my purple color and i'll do the same thing to this button click on it style so this one i'm changing the background color of the button i have the background color in here choose my purple also so take note all this text you can change them to whatever text you want depending upon the kind of website you are making so in here i change the color perfect on the services you can change them to whatever services you want all what you need to do is click on the particular service then you can change it from here or you can even go ahead and change it from here all what you need to do is just remove what you don't want and start typing away perfect so you can go ahead and make all these changes there are two more things i want to show you right here this list so this is a list i want to change it i'll just click on the pencil icon and you see that they have used an icon list currently the team is using three lists you can add more if you want by clicking on this paper icon right here or you can click on add item right here perfect so if you have something as part of the list and you don't need it all what you need to do is click on this x icon right here and it will go off so in here i have two of this particular one good quality care and service maybe i want to change the last one so i just click on it so i enter best dental services ever now if you want to change the icons all what you need to do is click on it from here and you can choose whatever icon you want you can even search for the particular icon you want but i don't want to change next i go over to style then icon in here i can change the colors of the icons by going to the globe in here i click on purple next i go down to testimonials so in here you may want to display your best testimonials maybe people have sent you some reviews on your social media pages like facebook or twitter or even linkedin or they have just sent you a message using your contact form to give you a review you need to go through them and put the best ones in here and you can edit any of this any point in time all what you need to do is just go ahead and click on it it will open it up then the content you enter it in here you can change the image of the client if you want so assuming i want to choose this i select it then i click on insert media then you enter the client's name if there's a title you want to add you go ahead and do that the next thing i'm going to show you is how to add a counter i don't need this section right here so what i need to do is just take it off and i insert a new section by clicking on this plus icon i'll insert a single column section then i go to elements and the search i search for counter i have counter in here i'll grab it and drop it right here next i go ahead and duplicate it to the number of times i want so i'll right click on this icon right here that is for column duplicate duplicate and duplicate so it will depend upon the number of counters you want so i click on the first one and upon counting i want it to start with zero and end with the particular number i want so the ending number should be 1000 or better still 984 then the cool number that is the title i remove it and enter happy clients so meaning i have this much of happy clients the next one i click on it then the ending number i will enter 587 and the title i change it to successful 
surgeries something like that next one I click on it and I make it 9 and the title I change it to staff meaning we have 9 staff and the last one I click on it and I enter 15 and the title I make it awards so we have won 15 awards perfect I want to change the background color of the counter so I click on edit section right here then I go over to style and the background type I choose classic and the color I click on it and choose my purple color next I go over to advanced and the pattern I click on link values here to unlink it top I enter 50 and bottom I enter 50 the next thing I'll do is change the colors of my text so that it will show very well so I click on this I go over to style text color I choose white that is for number and title text color I choose white as well take note you can change the typography from here that is the font face if you want and the font family I've already shown you that on top here perfect so I want to go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of them but Elementor is so beautiful that I don't have to do it one by one all what I need to do is right click here click on copy right click on this then I click on page style the color will take effect perfect awesome then I go ahead and click on update so let's preview it awesome so the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and change all the colors and perhaps some of the images and get back to you all right I've changed all the colors and some of the images perfect the next page I'm going to work on is the about page so I click on it then I go ahead and click on edit with Elementor so customizing this page is the same process as we did for the home page in here I want to show you another trick remember that the counter we use a trick in order to get all these colors let me show you another trick for instance the heading in here I right click on it copy and I can go to any page open with Elementor so right here I can right click on it click on paste style and the color will take effect perfect so I do the same thing for all the small headings or titles perfect so as usual this particular section I don't need it so I just go ahead and close it up then I go back to the home page then I'll grab my counter so I right click on the section here that is the six dots click on copy go back to the about page right click here then click on paste and I'll have my counter in here so I'll go ahead and change the colors probably the text and get back to you okay I've changed the colors next thing I want to do is I don't need this particular section right here so I'm going to remove it and replace it with something else so I just go ahead and click close here I need this particular section what I do is I take off this this and this as well next I go over to elements then I drag in an image element I go back to elements I grab the heading text now I click on the image and I choose a new image upload files select files and I choose my staff open I click on insert media awesome now the heading in here I click on it and change it to Mary Johnson so that is the name of the staff I center it 
Yeah, go over to style, then typography. I change the size to 24, or better say the name. I can click back on it and change it to Dr. Mary Johnson. And I want to duplicate the name. I right click on it, duplicate, and this particular one, I change it to CEO. I go back to style, typography, I click on the pencil arrow, and I'll change the size to 18. Next, I go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the staff. I don't want to repeat the same process, so I can just go ahead, right click on the column, duplicate, right click, duplicate. Then I'll go ahead and delete the empty columns. Right click, delete, right click delete and i'll just go ahead and change the images and their names all right i've inserted all the images for my staff as well as their names and their titles perfect i'm happy about this then i go ahead and click on update to save my changes one last thing i want to show you in here is that assuming you have more than three staffs what you need to do is just point on this that is the section right here then click on duplicate another row will be created then you go ahead and change the images and their names but i don't want to do that so i exit from here click on preview to see our changes awesome i like this Perfect. Next, I go to services. I'll exit out of here and here as well. Then I go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. All right, the services page is customized. I click on update. Let's preview the changes. Awesome. Perfect. So the last page I will customize is contacts. I go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. Over here, I click on edit section. Then I go over to style. The background color, I choose my purple color. Scrolling down. This color is changed already. I was messing around with them. So it's the same, just select, go to global colors, you choose your purple and do the same thing for the rest of them. That is for the icons right here. I also want to change the contact details. So I just click on it. I go back to content and in here I change my phone number. Email. I've entered my phone number, email, and then my location address. The button for the contact form cannot be changed here. It's not part of Elementor, so we'll change it in customizer settings. Now on the map, I want to show you how you can insert the map. So I'll take this one off. Then I go over to Elements. Then I grab the map from here. Just grab it and drop it right here. So the map is inserted but you will not see your location address in there so all what you need to do is change it from here so i'll say Charlie tamale let's see if my area is in the map and my house is closer to the chamele wc toilet perfect i'm happy I click on update awesome now let's view the changes perfect like I said earlier we'll change the color of this button in the customizer settings so that's all about design all my pages the next thing I'm going to do is customize my website 
so i'll go ahead and click on customize right here i can exit out of here and here as well so i'll start from top to bottom first of all i'm going to change the logo right here so i'll go ahead and click on this pencil icon and it will take me to the logo settings but i don't have a logo yet so let me take you through how you can create your own logo for free so i'll open a new tab then i enter logo logomaker.com take note logo maker there's no e in between the k and the r i hit enter logo maker is launched I go ahead and click on create a new design and in here they will show you a video as to how you can use the system I already know how to use the system and that's what I'm going to teach you so I exit out of there I go over to search and in here you can search for any design or icon you want so I search for truth then hit enter so in here I have a bunch of two. I think I like this one. I just go ahead and click on it. And I can reposition it. Then I go and grab text. Just click on it. Then I enter the name of my site. Tiku Dental. I can change the phone by clicking here. I'll go ahead and choose poppins. Awesome. And I can go to styles and change it to align left. And I want to increase the size of the text. So I hold here and drag it like this. And I'll go ahead and reduce the size of the icon. Perfect. Then I'll change the color to white. In this one as well I change it to white you will see the logo now but it is there so I click on save logo now logo maker will want you to pay $19 to get a high resolution I don't want to do that so I click on no thanks download the low file and it will still be perfect for us I click on ok to save my logo I exit out of here now I'm going to change the color of the icon to my purple color so I select it then I remove the color code right here and paste my color or enter my color awesome in the text I'm going to make it black like this perfect then I'll go ahead and save that one too I want to use it as my footer logo no thanks okay to save it i exit out of here and finally i'll remove the text then i drag open this to increase the size perfect then i'll go ahead and save it i'm going to use this as my faith icon faith icon is the small icon you see right here okay to save it i can exit out of here then i go ahead and click on change image upload files select files go over to appointment booking I have my logos in here now go ahead and choose my logo open it is uploaded click on choose image beautiful I have my logo in here I can increase the size by going down to logo width I can change it to 130 or better still 150 150 is perfect you can also click on site title and logo right here to change it from here so I click on change logo I already have it here select it then click on select I don't want to crop it so I click on skip cropping and over here I change it to work as well perfect next thing I'm going to work on is the button right here I click on it button 
and I'm going to remove the text in here. I don't want to use phone number here. So I'll change it to book and appointment. So later on, when we get the link to our appointment booking page, we'll come back and put it right here. Now I go back, back, then I go back to site identity. Then I'm going to insert the fifth icon. So I click on select site icon, upload files, select files, and I go ahead and choose my icon, then I open. It is uploaded. So it is uploaded right here. Perfect. I go ahead and publish it. So I go back. Now I go to menus. So I scroll down to the end. These are my menus right here. So I have my primary menu. That is the main menu on top here. And I also have the quick links and services down here. So first of all, let me go to quick links. And I don't need all this. So I take up dental health treatments. I don't also need dentist. So I have about us all services appointments and then contact us. Maybe I'll add home. So I click on add items. Or maybe I'll just go ahead and remove all this since they are custom links, they are not linking to any page. And I'll go ahead and add all my pages and later on when we have our booking page i'll come back here and add it so i can rearrange my menu the way i want so in here i can change the menu link text for instance services i want to say all services i go back then i click on services i have six services one two three four five six I'll take off the last one. So what I'm going to do is I will link everything to the services page. So anytime anybody click on any of them, it will take them to the services page. So let me go and get my services page. I think it's this. Let's confirm. Yes, that's it. So I'll just go ahead and copy it. Then I paste it for all of them. Paste. So I remove the hashtag and I'll paste in the services link. Now the business hours to change it, I'll go ahead and click on the pencil icon here. And I click on got it. So Monday starts from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. And the same goes for the rest of the days. So let's assume we don't work on both Saturdays and Sundays. Let me go over to text instead of visual. I don't need this thing. Let me go ahead and dismiss it. It's rather clicking on something else. Perfect. So I'm going to take off Sunday right here. So I'll make it Saturday to Sunday. We are closed. Next, I go to the logo right here. Click on the pencil icon. So I click on the image to change it. I click on replace image. So I go to upload files, select files. Then I go ahead and choose this logo, open, it is uploaded, I click on add to widget and it will replace this very logo and I want and I want to link it to my home page so I go to link to then I just go and grab the URL of my website and paste it right here. Now the little text right here you can change it by clicking on it from here go to text and you can remove it and enter whatever text you want to put there maybe i can go to the about page or the home page i have some little information there i can just copy and paste like this go back in here paste thing is a little too much maybe i'll take off this 
Okay, this one is rather small. I think this is cool. Perfect. Now the social icons. I click on the pencil icon right here. So in here, I need Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then LinkedIn. So I don't need need Yelp. I close it from here, and I click on the drop down arrow here and search for LinkedIn right there then i click add to social i can rearrange them the way i want then i go ahead and click on publish and finally the copyright section i click on the pencil icon right here then in here the only thing i want to change is powered by so i change it to design by equal pages web if i want i can link this to my website by highlighting it and i click on insert link and i enter my web address maybe i can link it in a new tab final thing i'm going to do is change the colors of these icons let me go to the icons then i click on design going down icon color take note they are blue so i click on it and i go ahead and paste in my purple color also now the hover color that is the background color and i enter in my purple color perfect now the link colors i'll change them in the global color settings so i'll go back back then I go over to global colors link color I'll leave it as it is then I go to link over color click on it and I enter in my purple color then I go back to buttons remember I said I will show you how to change the button color for the form so this way we can do that so the background color for normal I change it to my purple color and you see it right there the hover I change it to the same color don't worry it will change okay the hover is working okay I think everything is set I exit out of here and you see that the button will finally change to the colors we've set awesome all right now that's all about customizing our website i think i've missed out on important thing i've not shown you how you can actually enter the social media links for the icons so let me go back to customize so i'll go over to the social icons click on it i think the icon for twitter is not right so i'll change it from here search for twitter and i have it right here perfect it's sort of this g logo awesome so to enter the urls all what you need to do is click on the particular social icon and in here you enter the url so for facebook i enter https double forward slash facebook.com slash zico pages i close it up by clicking back on it linkedin i do the same thing i'll just go ahead and enter hashtag for them instagram hashtag so if people go ahead and click on it to take them to my social pages perfect then i go ahead and publish then I exit out of here perfect okay so now that designing and customizing our website is done the next thing I'm going to do is set my appointment booking so to do that I go to the back end of my website so I go to plugins and I click on add new under set plugins I search for salon I have it right here salon booking system 
take note it is called salon doesn't mean it's for only salons so those that can use it are hairdressers barber shop beauty salon spas car shops therapists and tutors and we are making a booking website for doctors so we are therapists perfect so i go ahead and click on install now wow the plugin was updated 14 hours ago that's awesome it is installed i activate i go ahead and click on allow and continue awesome the salon booking appointment awesome the plugin is successfully activated then i'll go ahead and click on it from here so this is a little tutorial if you want to go ahead and watch it but i'm here to show you how it works i close it up before we continue let me go ahead and dismiss these notices the next thing i'm going to do is go over to settings in here i'll provide my business information so salon name Diku Dental Salon contact email The salon phone number Right there Salon address I'll just grab it from the contact page And finally I'll upload my logo and I have my logo in here awesome next I choose my date and time settings I click on it with the date format you can drop down the arrow and choose whichever date format you want maybe I'll keep it at this and then time format I'll choose the one with AM and my week starts on Monday Assistant selection, I'll leave it enable. I'll enable assistant selection so that if people want to make some booking, they will choose whichever assistant they want to deal with. And I'll show you how you can add assistance to your booking form. You can also allow the system to choose assistant for your clients. You can decide to disable it from here so that they'll be forced to choose their own assistant. But I will leave it unchecked for now. You can also give them the opportunity to choose multiple assistants. But I will leave it as it is. Going down, I think the rest of them, I will leave them as they are. You can also go into SMS. But this one, you need to make some payments, which I don't want us to do. So I will leave it as it is. Don't want to get there, but you can mess around with them. So when you are happy with your settings, you click on update settings next i go over to checkout in here i will allow enable guest checkout to give my clients the opportunity to check out without making an account on my website and i'll also enable false guest checkout to enable my users to check out as a guest and no account will be created for them i think that's it i click on update settings next i go over to payments and the currency, I want to choose Ghana cities because I'm from Ghana. I don't want to charge in dollars. Going down, prices, visibility, you can choose to hide the prices so that your clients will not be able to see the prices during checkouts or during booking. But I think they should be able to see the prices to determine if they can actually pay me or not so i'll leave it unchecked then i'll go ahead and update settings finally i'll click on style so in here you choose the format or the layout you want it is set to medium you can use small or large but i'll keep it at minimum then i go to custom colors I'll enable custom colors so that I'll be able to change my colors in here. Unfortunately for us, the plugin is not using the hex code. That is the color code we are conversant with. 
so what i'm going to do is i'll just go to google and i'll enter in my color code that is my purple color four seven zero zero three b i guess to rgb then i hit enter so i want to convert this color code to rgb so i'll just go ahead and click on the first one so i have my rgb color code right here so it's 71 comma 0 comma and then 59 so i go back so in here inside the brackets i remove what is there 71 comma 0 comma 59 perfect i have my purple color right there and i update settings next i go over to settings and the salon sorry services so these are the existing services i don't need them so i go ahead and select all by clicking on this checkbox i click on bulk actions i move to trash apply I go to trash and I empty the trash now let me go ahead and add my own services by clicking on add service right here so I'll refer to my services while well, I'll exit out of here so the first service is cosmetic dentistry I copy it paste it in here and then the price is going to be 1500 you can set the duration if you want the duration is how long will it take for you to perform cosmetic dentistry i'll leave it as it is i don't want to get ahead of myself and you don't need to do any other thing in here just go ahead and click on publish so we are only adding the service name and then the price again i click on add service then i go back and copy the next service i paste it in here then the price 15.80 i publish it i hope you get the concept so i'm going to pause the video and add the rest of the services and meet you in a second okay i've added all my services so i go over to services to take a look at them so these are the various services i offer and their respective prices awesome next i go over to assistance and these are the assistance the system will give us i'll take them off work actions move to trash apply i click on trash and i empty the trash i click on add assistant so i enter the name of my assistant i have cara then assistant details you can enter the email of the assistant or their phone number you can also give the assistant the opportunity to manage multiple customers per session I'm not going to check this because we are running premium services. We always want to deal with clients one at a time. You can also add a description for your assistance. But I'm not going to do this. I just go ahead and click on publish. I add second assistant. John. Then I click on publish. So I only have two assistants. And that's all what I want you to do. You can also choose service categories if you want so that you try to categorize your services. But I'm not going to add this. I don't want you to get overwhelmed. So now let's test our booking system. So I'll go over to pages. So the moment you install the salon plugin, it will create this page for you that is booking booking my account as well as thank you for booking pages 
So I'll go over to booking. I right click on view, open link in a new tab. So this is my appointment booking form. Perfect. So when you get to the form, you'll be asked what you need. So you can choose the service you want, cosmetic dentistry, and then teeth whitening. Perfect. And as you select them, the total will be calculated. I click on next. So in here, I select my assistant. So who do I want to attend to me? Is it Kara or John? I would rather go for the lady. Then I click on next. So in here, I choose the day. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I choose Tuesday. And the time I want to choose 10 30 a.m. Then I click on next. So in here, I enter my details. Then I click on next. So this is a summary of all what I've selected. The date and time. The assistance, Cara services booked, cosmetic dentistry, the price, and then teeth whitening. Perfect. I'm not giving any discount. So if I have a coupon code, I enter it in here, then I click on apply, but I don't have. Then I can also add a message. So I'll say, meet you soon. Perfect. Then I click on next step. And boom so your booking is completed and I'm assigned a booking number if I have any queries I can call this number so I go ahead and click on complete and it will take me to the thank you page thank you for booking that's awesome so I as a customer I'll receive a message about this booking and the owner of this website will also receive a message about the booking. Also, as the owner of the website, I can also check the bookings by going to the back end of my website. So I go over to Salon and I click on Bookings. And there is our booking. So the booking ID, date and time, status is confirmed, the name of the client, attendance, booking price, and finally booking services perfect so let's check our email as a client so in here is the email that is the confirmation email from Diku Dental so I go ahead and click on it and we are right there so all what I need to know about the booking is here so you see the logo in here if we hadn't added our logo meaning it will show right here and you see something else maybe the logo of the plugin we are using so it's good to add your own logo now let's see how the administrator's email will come up that is as the owner of the website how do we also get our email so as the owner of the website this is how our email will appear J administrator this is an email notification of a new booking at Dikwood Dental Please take note of the following booking details. And here we are. Perfect. So I can go ahead and click on Minute Booking right here to take me to the back end of my website. I click on it. And here I can manage the booking. So in here, let's assume maybe the time the customer has selected we won't be able to attend to them. You can change the day. And then maybe one of these services we can run it at this moment we we'll just go ahead and delete that particular service from here and then we can send the customer a message to tell him that this particular service we can run it at this moment so all what we need to do is perform whatever setting we want to do enter in the message in here then we click on send but if we are not going to do anything in here we did everything as it is 
I'll exit out of here and here as well. Now the next thing I'm going to do is link up all the buttons to the appointment booking page. So I'll go back to the back end then I click on pages. I go over to booking, right click on view, open link in a new tab. I just want to get the URL. So that's the booking page. I grab the link, copy it. Then I go to the home page. I'll exit out of here and here for now. So to be able to link these buttons up, I need to edit it with Elementor. So I click on the button right here. Link. I paste it in here. But first of all, you need to remove the hashtag going down. So I'll just go ahead and link all the buttons. But here it's not book an appointment, it's rather read more. So I click on it. Then I'll link it to the about page since this particular section is for about us. I remove it. I can just go ahead and type about and all the pages concerning about us will appear. So I have about here. I select it. Going down. This is going to all services. I click on it. I remove hashtag. Then I search for services. Awesome. I click on it to insert the link. Reserve by slot. So this is about booking. I remove the hashtag and I paste in my booking link. Going down. Another button for booking. Enter my link. Okay, that's all. Then I go ahead and update my page. So I exit from this page. Just click on these three dashes here. Then I click on view page. So take note, this particular one will deal with it in the custom settings. So I can test my buttons, book an appointment, and it will take me right there. Going back read more it will take me to the about page perfect i go back this will take me to the services page appointment once more perfect all right next i go over to about do we have some patterns there let's check okay book an appointment so i click on edit with elementor Scroll down, click on it, link, I paste in my appointment booking link. Okay, that's it. I update, I exit from here, I click here, view the page, I go over to services. So under each service, I have a link that says book an appointment. So all this take note, they are all call to actions. I can decide to remove everything from here and I just get one button to represent everything or better still I'll just leave them as they are so I edit with Elementor so I click on the first one then the link I enter my link next I enter my link and I'll speed up the rest of them Awesome. I go ahead and update. Sorry, I have another button here. Click on it. Update. Perfect. I exit out of here. Then to set the link here, I go to customize. I hover on it. Then I click on the pencil icon here. In here. I enter my booking link. So I go ahead and click on publish. I exit out of here. Perfect. So if I click on it, it will take me to the booking page. Awesome. So that's it guys on how to make our appointment booking website. It's been quite a journey and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope the video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button 
subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.